Carl here with Columbia Water Gardens and today I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how to stack slate. Now on this particular project we're building a, uh, a false wall around a fountain base and the fountain stands at about nine feet tall with a really cool bubbling um, top that looks like a well here take a look at this. So this is actually going to sit on the top and it's going to bubble out the top of this over here and one of the cool things that we're going to do with it is we're going to take one of Aquascape's fountain lights and so this is going to light up these LEDs. Water is going to bubble out of the middle over here and kind of give a little bit of a nice roll like that. Come over the top of this and it's going to stand at about a good solid, um, gosh I think it's about 8 to 10 feet tall. Come on over here I'll show you the base that goes on top of it. about six feet. Yeah, it's about six feet. So we actually have to use our excavator to get this thing into place because it's so doggone heavy. And um, what we needed to do is we needed to duplicate the effect that's over here at the spot. So come on over here and I'll show you what we're trying to duplicate. So we want the water coming off the, coming off the base of that fountain to do this. And so in order for it to do that, we're going to be running um, an Aqua Surge 4000 pump that's going to give us 4000 gallons per hour worth of flow going all the way around it. And the reason why we chose 4000 gallons per hour is because water flows at the rate of 100 gallons per hour per horizontal inch. And we've got a total of 3, 6, 9, 12, 120 inches which is going to get us to, um, it's going to get us to a nice little gentle trickle coming off the base with a nice little bubble coming off the top. So, as you can see from over here, the base is standing just at about grade with the concrete over here. And so, the object now is is to get it to turn that nice um, angle, like soft pyramid kind of a look, just like it does over there at the spot. And so, this is what we've done. couple different things. Um, we did experiment with the idea of taking some um, some spec mix and piping it in. Uh, one of our, actually we got all the material from this stuff here over at Whitewater Rock um, over in Whitewater, California. These guys are awesome to us and they're right along the way. I live in Beaumont and this project's out in Rancho Mirage. And piping it in didn't work. So what we did is we kind of gave a little bit of a change in course of a, uh, direction and we just decided to foam it in. And we foamed in this bottom layer here last night, came in this morning, and it is solid. I mean, absolutely solid. And a couple different things that we did to it too as well that you can't see here, but underneath this layer here, we put a couple of what are called dead man in. And a dead man does is it goes all the way like this, like see this piece here? He would make a dead man if he went all the way over like this and the gravel would push down against that and it would hold the wall from toppling forward. So we've got dead men throughout the base of this going all the way around. And we're gonna put a couple dead men in as we continue to go up the side. So in order to duplicate um, the effect that we have over there in the swimming pool, what we needed to do was bring a level in. And this level tells us exactly how far out we need to go for each layer. So in this particular case, you can see us just barely touching here, here, and here. And that tells us our distance that we have to go. We only have to do that once every single time we do it. So that's a really cool tip there. So it kind of gives that uniform look. Another thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that our walls are level with each other. So this guy here, he's pretty close to perfect on the bubble. I mean, if you look at the bubble here, he's almost right on. And that's okay because the distance, the difference here, is less than I'm gonna say maybe maybe two millimeters off so we're looking really good over there so to get this thing to go together here's how we do it first things first ah, I can't find my gloves there they are I'm a big glove guy because you start getting this foam on your hands it's just gnarly I like using these disposable gloves from Home Depot. 
uh, for obvious reasons. They're cheap and um, just use them, chuck them. So here's our foam gun. Turn the foam gun on. And we're gonna go ahead and start with our first layer. So what I've done is I've dry stacked these things so I know exactly where I'm gonna be pulling from. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of give it a really quick bead here. And I'm kind of doing it on the back side of the slate. And then we set that guy into place. Now, if you look right here, take a look, if you'll just zoom right over here and take a look right over here, we got some foam that's kind of sticking out right over here and we don't want that. So what I did is, is I filled up an old cup from yesterday's lunch and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sand on top of that and take the head of my screwdriver and I'm just gonna pull that out. By doing that, that kind of stops the expansion of the foam and it keeps it from traveling out underneath there. And we definitely do not want to have that problem because see how much cleanup there is to do if you don't? So the next piece goes down. You can see there's a little bit of a dead man right here. See this right over here? So that's kind of cool. And I think I want to go this way I do. Now with foam, less is more. It does not take a whole lot to do what you need it to do. But it's also critical that we double check our measurements as we go along. And we're looking for nine inches. Nine inch distance, I'm gonna just kind of bring him out just a little bit, double checking on this side. So I gotta bring him out just a little bit. Perfect. And so we continue that process all the way along. And after that process is done, all we have to do is lock it in. So, um, staging a bucket of gravel. And a nice light pour. And then we'll level that out and we'll continue going forward. See this crack right inside here? It's a good place for us to just kind of give a little bit of an extra joint of foam. Again, it doesn't take much, less is more. Stop the expansion of it right over here at the tip. So this is going to lock this piece here into this piece over here. And you saw earlier that it was glued down underneath. So the idea is, is this to continue marching all the way uphill. Check your measurements regularly as you go through. Make sure that you have your right distance while the foam is still pliable. And then lock it in and that will hold it into place. And it doesn't take long for this foam to dry. Give it about 20 minutes or so and you're good to go. So as I continue to go all the way around, this area here is dry by the time I'm ready to set my next level. And again, like I said, you want to check your levels all the way through. All of the extra foam that you see is going to power wash right off. And we're also going to just kind of come along here and we're just going to pick it right off. And so all of this stuff here, after it's all done, will clean right off, power wash off, and we're going to have a really nice, beautiful effect. So. I'm gonna put a link at the end of this video when I get to the next level here on this video. I'm still uploading it right now. So if you're following my channel, the link to the next video will not be there for probably another couple of days, but there'll be some awesome links to some other projects. If you haven't seen the job that we just finished up there in 29 Palms, do a YouTube search on 29 Palms Desert Oasis or find it inside our YouTube channel. And one last thing, um, please subscribe. Uh, I really love when I see new subscribers come in and please comment. I respond to 100% of every single comments that are left on all of the videos on my YouTube channel. I feel like what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a tribe of followers and I want you to see what we've got going on. I want you to experience my life through what it is that I do for a living and I also want you to pick up some really cool tips. So if you like what you see here, 
or if you have some questions about what you see going on or if you um, have some tips you want to give me please leave your comments down below and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube <laughs> And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. One last question I have for you, and I'm going to leave a poll um, in this video as well. Do you like it when I shoot videos raw and, and, and <laughs> raw and unedited and just jam them up into the channel? Or do you prefer for me to shoot videos and do all the fancy editing and the background music and the jump cuts and all the stuff? So far, what I've been hearing is from most people, is that they want to see raw unedited videos so I don't I want to know what you have to say so feedback answer the poll and I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens and I'm here to remind you that stack slate stuff really isn't that hard happy finding